I was about 15 months the last time I saw him. Tommy Doyle never got a chance to know his father. At the age 25, Staff Sergeant Jimmy Doyle left his wife and only child in La Mesa to go fight in World War II. He was part of the Army Air Corps, now known as the Air Force. On September 1, 1944, Jimmy and his crew were flying over the Pacific Ocean near the island nation of Palau. That's when their plane was shot down. The Japanese came out and picked them up. Nobody ever knew who they were. Uh, and that was kind of the end of it. They were all listed as MIA until after the war was over, and then they were all declared killed in action. Killed in action, a phrase Tommy's mother wasn't ready to accept. For many, many, many years, she, she kept up the hope that for some reason, you know, he had got out and he was going to come home. The uncertainty lingered as his body was never recovered when his wife was laid to rest in 1992. Even on her headstone, she wanted her name and his name. And for good reason, on Saturday, 65 years later, Jimmy Doyle came home to La Mesa. This makes it even more special. We're, we're going to be able to bury his remains right next to her. Tommy says the journey to find his father wouldn't have been possible without a group known as Bent Prop, whose sole purpose is to look for MIAs. The group started looking for Jimmy in 2000. It's a small team, but it's a team that recognized a long time ago that sacrifices have been made in the defense of our country that need to be remembered and this is our way of saying thank you for those sacrifices. And Bent Prop isn't the only group to say thanks. Jimmy's grandson Casey Doyle says he is amazed by the overwhelming support from the community. It's also great to see all the people here in La Mesa and Snyder all in West Texas uh, all the way from Dallas that have, uh, that have never known my grandfather but still come out to show and respect, either uh, driving down the road or here at the cemetery. It says so much about people, it's really hard to describe. It's all been real emotional. I, I don't know how to, I don't know another word to say than, than I get real emotional. It's a, it's a, it's a feeling of, uh, I don't know, fulfillment, something that, you know, something you never thought was gonna happen and, and you've been able to sit back and, and watch it go through the phases until it finally does happen. And it did happen on Saturday when Tommy welcomed home a soldier, a hero, his dad. I lived all my life without a father and now I've got one back, put him to rest. It just kind of makes the, the whole circle complete.